Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to calculate when the optimal time for you to go solar so you can maximize your savings. All right, so in order for me to effectively explain to you when the best time to go solar is, you need to understand two super important facts. The first one is that when you go solar, regardless of how small the system is, even if it's only going to theoretically cover 20% of what you need, your sdg and &E bill immediately vanishes. You're not gonna pay anything for a full 12 months. You're going to enter what is called the net metering agreement, which essentially means that your meter is a smart meter and it's going to be keeping track of exactly how much energy you produce and send back and take from the grid. So what happens next is sdg and &E tracks exactly your energy usage for 12 months and at the end of 12 months only, they're either going to send you a credit or bill you for the amount that you used. Now our goal is to always give you more than what you need so you'll never have a bill ever again and in fact have a little bit of a credit. It's super important to understand that your existing bill vanishes and that your new payment, if you go the financing route, is going to just replace the old bill because I think it's this one fact that a lot of people don't necessarily fully understand and they're thinking to themselves, well, I'm either going to pay a whole bunch of money cash for my solar and be out all of that money and still have to pay sdg and &E, or I'm going to have a new payment for the solar and still have to pay sdg and &E, and why would I want to pay more? This is not how it works. The goal is to replace the existing bill with a payment that's lower so you can start saving on day one. Okay, so first I'm going to kind of break down the numbers for a cash deal so I can make sure you understand. Okay, so first, if your current bill is about $250 a month, I can get you a system that's gonna be about $24,000. This is really close to what my parents' bill was and what the cost of their system was. So if you add up the current $250 a month, that is $3,000 a year that you're currently spending in electrical costs. Now keep in mind that this is an expense. It's not adding anything to the value of your home. You're going to pay forever, essentially. There's never going to be an end to the, you know, the term. There, there is no term, it's just forever. Um, and also, um, it can go up every year. Uh, the, the rates have already been going up and they're going to continue to go up. For this cash example, I'm going to assume two things. The first is that the customer can take advantage of the 30% tax credit. And the second is that energy costs are going to continue to rise at 6%. Now this is actually conservative based on the fact that during the last 25 years here in San Diego, we've seen on average a 7.9% increase each year. Okay, so let's say this is you. It's November of 2018, your average bill for the entire year was about 250 bucks a month. It's probably a little bit less now that we're cooling off from the summer months, but let's just look at what your, your future roadmap looks like for what you'd have to pay if you didn't go solar. So $250 a month times 12 is $3,000. After three years with that 6% increase a year, you'd be paying $9,550. At the five-year mark, you will have paid almost $17,000. At the 10-year mark, you'll have paid almost $40,000. At the 20-year mark, over $110,000. And if you stay in your house 30 years and you don't go solar for the entire time, you will have paid $237,000 to sdg and &E. That's insane. When you can get a solar system that's going to cost you $16,800 after the tax credit and work for on average 33 years with a 25 year parts and labor warranty. Which one looks better to you? So by writing out our future running costs, if we don't decide to go solar, it really puts it in perspective and makes us realize how much we're really spending. So the solar system after the tax credit costs $16,800 and that's expected to run for about 33 years with a 25 year warranty. Now, if you add up the $250 each month, you're gonna have hit over that price in 60 months, which means that in less than five years, your solar system will have paid for itself and essentially every month after month 60, you're, you're putting $250,000 back in your pocket that you would have given to SDG&E. 
And so here are the savings for if you decide to go solar with a cash deal. The costs are on the top that you would have paid SDG&E, but because you're not paying SDG&E anymore, you install a solar system up on your roof for this amount, here are your savings, which means that at the five year mark, you will have saved $110. Not much, but that's around pretty much what your payback period is. At the 10 year, you will have saved over $22,000. At the 20 year, you will have saved over $93,000. And at the 30 year, you'll be up $220,000 in savings. It's pretty amazing actually, but this isn't the way I suggest most people to do it. For the simple reason that a lot of, a lot of my customers they don't feel comfortable paying five years up front to save a whole bunch after the five years. They want to save money right now. And so that's what I'm going to show you with zero out of your pocket. Okay, so here's the zero down financing route that I recommend most people to go. It's not going to maximize the long term 30 year savings, but it is going to put more money in your pocket today while increasing the value of your home and you can feel good that you're helping humanity move towards cleaner energy. So let's kind of remind ourselves about this scenario. So before we were paying $250 each month to SDG&E, that bill was always gonna exist, it was never gonna to come to an end, it wasn't a term, it was, it's, it's forever. Uh, the bill also can change, it's gonna go up and as, as prices go up, as we've already seen over the last 20 years. Uh, Another thing as well is it's not uh, too connected to the money, but I always remind people of the fact that the energy that's coming through from the grid usually isn't really sourced from the cleanest of energy. In San Diego, they're pretty good about uh, you know natural gas and wind, um, but you know at the end of the day, it's not going to be as clean as what's on your roof. Um, and then also, it doesn't it doesn't add any value to your home to just pay SDG&E. Having a solar system is an asset on your home and adds about fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, so if this person decided that they were going to go solar today, here's what would happen: their two hundred and fifty dollar a month bill would be gone completely, and it would be replaced with a payment of two hundred two forty. Now, this is a fifteen year term zero down at a 5.99% APR. So a couple of things happen now. The first one is obviously that you're entering into a 15 year term versus you paying indefinitely uh, whatever the, the bill is to sdg &E. After the 15 years is over, you have free energy of zero payments and whatever you use is essentially free. Another important factor of this is you're locking in the payment. This is going to continue to go up with the rates, but your but your payment is stuck. So now you're you know you're fighting against uh, the increase in price, which is also super important because it's not always just going to be that. Now the third thing that's really exciting is this payment was was figured before the tax credit. So when you do get the tax credit, you can do two things. You can one just take the seventy two hundred dollars and uh, put it into the loan and now they'll re-amortize it and your, your payment will be even lower. And now, you know, forever you have all the energy you need for $141 and after the term uh, it's paid off and it's free. Or the second option is to take the $7,200 cash and just decide to put it in your bank account. You can pay off other credit cards. Uh, you can go on vacation, uh, do whatever you want with it. Um, and you can still have a lower payment which is stuck and gonna eventually come to an end than what you had before. It's a win-win. So when I hear from potential customers that they would love to go solar, but they just don't think they can afford it right now, I laugh and I say, well, you know, it's actually costing you more money to not go solar. Right here, I'm showing you that your old cost was $250. You've already been paying that. Every month you've been writing that check. Next month, you're only gonna have to pay 202 and you know that that is not only building equity and value in your home, but it's also gonna to come to an end. On top of that, once again, this payment is now stuck. It's not gonna to continue to rise like the 250. And you can even do whatever you want with that $7,200, allowing you to push the payment down to 141 if you really want to. So how exactly can people not afford to go solar? In my mind, you can't afford to not go solar. It's clearly more expensive to stay on the grid. Okay, finally, I'm gonna answer your question. I know you guys have been waiting a long time, 
but I had to explain the two methods in which people pay for solar so you could understand uh, how you can figure this out. Okay, so I hope that you kind of have figured out through my explanation so far that either way, uh, solar is a much better deal than, than buying from the grid. And in both cases as well, the longer you have the solar, the more your savings are. So with that logic, if your goal is to save as much money as possible, the sooner you can get rid of the sdg and &E bill and replace it with a new payment that's now building equity and is oftentimes lower than what your current bill is, the faster you uh, will, will enter the saving money phase and the, the, the more you will save in the long run. So I didn't mean for this to be a clickbait video. I, it's, I'm answering it as honestly as possible and that is the optimal time for you to go solar to save the maximum amount of money is as soon as possible. It's just how the math works. If you're thinking about going solar in the San Diego area, I would love nothing more than to be the person that helps you through the process. I'll give you the highest quality service and the best quality equipment for a price that you cannot beat anywhere else. I promise you that. My number is 760-473-5878 and the website is californiasolarwave.com. And if you're unfortunately not from San Diego and don't have the luxury of doing business with us, go check out the video I just made. It's packed with tips that will help you get the best deal when going solar. I put the link for that video in the comments. Go check it out now.